Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Let me put this on the side. I'm just giving you a little guess. I'm going to wait here so you can take a guess of what I'm talking about. Take a guess of what this vlog is about. I'm just going to give you five seconds. Five, yes, you guessed it. Oh, yeah, baby. Pee bottles. And it's not just about pee bottles. This is about why you have a 500 IQ if you pee in bottles. Not only talking about the guys out there, too, because I know the guys are like, well, obviously I do pee. Well, there are some people out there that are kind of lame that don't do pee bottles. But I'm also talking about the girls. What? The, gir the girls? The girls don't pee. Yes, they can. They will. And they do. After this, they will. They will do it after I explain how. So let's get into it. Also, I know you like my shirt. Uh, yes, this is a Moira shirt. Uh, Overwatch, if you don't play Overwatch, well, you're missing out. Roblox, Minecraft. <laughs> the worst games ever played. But anyways, um, so here is why you have a 500 IQ of your pin models. The only reason is because if you think about it, I want you to think about it for a second. Let's see if you could think about it. Okay. Uh, I don't like your response. Anyways, no, the only reason why is because if you're in the middle of a fucking competitive match. Okay, I understand in quick play maybe you could run. Not even in quick play. I still go for the bottle. But if you're in a competitive match... Listen, in the middle of Overwatch League, what are you going to do? Are you going to go, oh, sorry, team. I got to go and uh, go to the bathroom real quick. No, you should get fucking fired from your fucking team. You should be fired for the rest of your life. Never come back to esports again. Just go to your house and go to your little stupid toilet. No, you should always have a nice bottle next to you. Maybe a big bottle for those BBCs out there. You know, a nice big one, you know, like those big two liter bottles. That makes sense to have a nice big opening. For me, I could literally use a fucking Pepsi can and I'll be fine. And you know how Pepsi cans have a little small. Yes, because I have two inches and whatever. But that's besides the point. Um, it's just the smartest thing you could ever do. That's why in the middle of the match, I'll wait till the round is over. Even if I'm peeing up, I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, destroying everybody on the team. Because that's what I do usually. I just destroy everybody that I play against. But instead of going, you know what? I'm going to go all the way and, and I'm just ruin the whole game. Everybody in the competitive match. What are you doing? Get back here. We're in the middle of a match. Whatever the hell. And I'm like, no. It's, 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 and I'm just there in the toilet. Oh my God. The game is going to, we're going to lose. No. It's simple. You just grab something. You go off to the side. And you make this happen. Okay. Also, if you're like, but criminal, how can I do this if I don't have a bottle? I don't have a bottle. Well, buddy, you can also use things like this. Simple peanut. And you're wondering. <laughs> and you're wondering. Okay, criminal, I understand. A, pea, a dry roasted peanuts jar, whatever. Sure, unsalted, by the way. I actually made a mistake on that one. I hate this shit. I actually put salt in it and I just go. But anyways, if, and you're wondering what the fuck is in there. Well, obviously, I didn't eat all the peanuts because they sucked. Uh, and there's a there's a banana peel in there, but that's besides the point. You could also use this. Also, if you're wondering if you have a really strong, amazing hand like I do, see how this I just I crush it. A lot of you guys can't crush uh, plastic like I can, but it, you got what you got to do with this one is you don't fill it up all the way here. This is why my IQ is higher probably than yours, uh, because you see how it's called. It's half and half. You understand? So if it's a half and half, you got to fill it halfway, but not because it's called a half and half. That's just a coincidence. If you crush it with amazing strength like I have, you might pierce it and there might become a hole in there. So you got to make sure you fill it up to here at the very least. Because so, if you go too high and you crush it, it might be a spillage. You heard that? You could even hear my brain when I do this because when you do your brain, you just... 
you just hear an echo, 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 echo. When I do this, you just hear a nice plump brain that's in there because my brain just thinks at a million miles per hour when it comes to that. So, it doesn't make sense. Also, it, doesn't, it also doesn't make sense because some of the smartest minds of all time, low tier God, Mitch Jones, uh, Asmund Gold, you know how successful these guys are. They pee in bottles as well. Um, it's kind of, it's actually more disgusting to pee in a toilet because you can have it splash on you as well. Especially for a person like me now, if you have a BBC, it makes sense, or a WBC, or a PBC, which is a purple, uh, it makes sense because your dick, since it goes further, it barely splashes. See, now mine is so small that it that means that the height is way higher so when i pee it just splat it just goes <laughs> and it's totally fine you know i don't care about piss but guess what i don't want it to splash all over you because maybe that's a problem you have maybe you're going to go to an interview and obviously you're not going to get the job if you have pee stains all over your clothing so that makes sense but here's the best here's one thing that i'm going to tell you before let me show you right here. You see this right here? You think I'm not going to talk to you about those? Hold on one second. I got to <laughs> You see this? This is what you call fermented. Now, it gives... It, see, here's the best part about this. This... <laughs> uh, I have two of them back there, as you can see in the bottom. That's the cranberry one. But anyways, this one right here has been fermented... For about a year, I'm gonna say a year and four months. You could even look at the top of it. Look, look at the dust that's collected. But yes, this is probably like a year and a few months, I believe. Um, do you do I know why I have this? Absolutely not. I did it on stream, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm just gonna save it for everyone. I want every. I don't know why the fuck I have these, but. If you're smart like I am, I know in the future this will come in handy. Listen, if someone ever does anything extremely bad to you, you could do many things with this one. You could literally, if they have a car, you open it up and you just spl you just let it all over the car. They will have the smelliest car in the fucking history. They won't even want to get inside of the car. Also, if you want to do some prank videos, you could go to Target, which is what I was thinking of doing. Going to Target, opening it up, putting it on the on the floor, and just letting the just letting the whole store just stick up, and everybody's like, "Oh my God, what the fuck?" Oh, vomiting all over the place. I'm like, I don't know what that is, but blah blah blah. You could do many things with this. I wouldn't be surprised if there's animals growing in here by now, but uh. Yeah, that's what I do with that. Okay, let me just put it to the side because I know you guys probably want me to drink it. But guess what? I'm not crazy and I'm not drinking that shit. You gotta be out of your fucking mind. But anyways, um, I'll take a zip of this one though. It's totally fine. Yeah, um, this that's a joke. You wish I did that. Anyways, so there you go. That's my blog. On, <laughs> that's my blog on pee bottles and why it's a lot more sanitary than going to the bathroom with it. Also. If you go out, let's say you go outside and you're like, well, I'm going to go pee somewhere. I'm fucking dying. Guess what? Usually sometimes people have bottles of waters on them. So maybe if you want to be more sanitary, you could pee in the bottle and then throw it in the garbage. But I suggest you do it in an alleyway if you don't have a bottle. Just be a little nice. Put it, do it on the garbage can. Do it somewhere away from, you know, whatever. But if you want to be nicer, you could also bring a bottle with you. I mean, that's a lot of work, so in, my, in my opinion. But if you happen to have a bottle on you, you might as well use it. You know what I'm saying? So thank you for watching my vlog on pee bottles. I hope this really helped you out. And this is why your IQ is just not as high as mine. Because uh, you're not using pee bottles. Oh my god, I almost forgot. How dare I forget. For those girls out there that are like, I want to be a man. Not, not, not literally, but I want to I wanna pee like a man. There you go. That makes more sense. I want to pee like one. Why do they get to stand up and pee and pee wherever the fuck they want? Don't I? But obviously you can pee outside. You just have to usually go like this and do it outside. You know what I'm saying? But you're like, I want to be able to pee against the walls and pee into bottles and stuff. Well, guess what? If you look up on Google how to pee with a pussy or a vagina i don't know whatever they will show you there is a way that you go like this 
you grasp it and you just you just go you go like that and then you go there's a way you could do it actually uh, I actually looked this up and there is an actual way that you can be able to pee while standing up as well okay thank you very much for watching this vlog um, I didn't say my intro because I totally forgot because I was so excited about talking about pee bottles but I'm happy you guys uh, watched uh, this and I hope your brains get bigger if you haven't peed in the bottle, I don't know what the hell is wrong with you. I think you're mentally ill. Peace.